Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be taking a look at the latest RGB lighting kit from Cololite which has won the CES 2021 Innovation Award. This is the Cololite Mix. Details are in the description below including purchasing links. So I'll be showing you how to set these up, the different options you have available and I'll also be doing comparison with Nanoleaf's light panels and Govi's Glide Hexa light panels so you get an idea how it compares. So let's begin by unboxing it and briefly seeing what you get in the packaging. You get a user manual and quick start guide. You get a power adapter. Cable length on this is 112 centimeters, DC connection on there, and the output is 24 volts, one amp. You get six sticky pads. You'd use two of these on each of the panels to stick them to a surface. And you get four of these connectors to allow you to interconnect each of the panels together. This is the starter pack. You get three panels with this. There is a difference between two of them and the one there. One says Cololite Mix and the other one says Cololite Mix Extension. With the Mix light, you can run it standalone and you can buy a battery to run it on. It takes an 18650 battery, whereas the extension kit doesn't take any batteries. You can't run all three in conjunction if you had it running off a battery. You can only run one light panel at a time. Both the Mix and the extension panels do have power source on there. The Mix has a button on there together with a microphone pickup point. But the Mix extension doesn't have those options, just has a plus and a minus only on there. All the panels are the same size. They come in at 12.7 by 12.7 centimeters. Thickness at the top to lower part is three centimeters. Build quality, it's all strong plastic. The area where the LED shines out is here. Buttons located over here. And there's a microphone point for music sync. The four slots you're seeing, are the points where you can connect the other light panels. Coming around the back, you can see the point where the power would be plugged in. Battery goes into this location and you've got the two locations where the sticky pads would go to stick it on a surface. There's rubber on either side to avoid it slipping on a surface. It's magnetic at the back. So if you had a metal surface, it can just stick directly on there. The extension panels can't be run standalone. You are reliant on buying the mix and then adding the extension panels to it. Getting this connected up is easy, so plug the power in initially. You can then connect up the other panels to the main one using the connectors that come in the packaging. That's the direction of the flow. So if I bring this closer, just slots into the gap there, push it down, locks into position. And then if we bring another panel in place and we can lock it into position, again, be mindful of the flow of this. So it'll be flowing like that. Turning the power on, you can see the device is working straight away. And if I press the button that's over here, obviously only one panel has the button on there and it will just cycle through the different scenes you have. So it can work standalone. You don't even have to install the app for this, just default functionality on this. By double clicking the button, you can switch the modes from dynamic to monochrome to listening, but really worth installing the app to make the most of the device and you can even configure your own scenes with that. There's no restrictions in connecting the panels up. So even if it says minus or plus on there, doesn't matter how it connects up. The key thing is, is the connector on there. So you gotta make sure it goes with the flow. So if I connect this, it's flowing that way. And then connecting the next one up, flows that way. So now if I flip it the other way round, you can see this one doesn't turn on, flows incorrect on this. If I flip it now, taking it off, doesn't make any difference there. It's fine with that as well. Again, if I flip it around, that doesn't work. You can also disconnect it and have it like this, for instance. Just make sure the flow is the correct way around. And that works too. Let's make a start at setting this up. So coming over to my Android phone, going to the Play Store, the app you're after is Cololite. I've already got it installed, so going in there, click the Add, select Cololite Mix. Gives you some details on how to get this connected up. Next to that, first thing we need to do is get this reset. So if I hold on to the button here for two seconds, it's flashing blue now. So if I click next, we need to turn on Bluetooth. Okay to that, click next, picked it up straight away. Next, we can add the device to my Wi-Fi network. I've entered in the password next to that. Fail to set Wi-Fi configuration if I click confirm. And that's more than likely to do with the fact I've got five gigahertz Wi-Fi enabled on my router. So let me disable that now. I've managed to add in the device by disabling five gigahertz Wi-Fi. This is what you're initially presented with. And these are some dynamic effects you can change just by swiping up or down. Just briefly show you. So this is sunrise. 
Then you've got unicorns. Looks pretty cool. Now to briefly show you some of the options in here. So clicking on the three dots there, device settings. You can see information regarding the device. So basic things like IP address details. You can modify the name of the device back from here. Then coming below that, you've got a power button. Turns it off, turns it back on again. There is a slight delay. Coming below that, you can see brightness control on here. It says eye shield on. And when that's on, it doesn't allow you to change anything. Clicking that disables the eye shield you can go even brighter. Let's put it back to what it was. Next, we've got all the predefined scenes and then you've got a DIY option as well. So it gives you a quick way to jump between the relevant scenes, which is quite nice. And then with DIY, you can design your own one. So you've got the different effects over here and then you can do your color selection, lots there. And then the speed you want it to move at, you can have it really fast. Click that one, for instance, looks pretty cool. Back from here, clicking on this one, you can select the listening mode. So there's a microphone just over here and that can listen in and sync along to music going on in the background. So if I go to device mic, you've got some different patterns on here. It's on default, if we flip over to dynamic, and then go to soft, and then finally romantic, and then you've got the different transition effects going on there. So test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Seems okay, back from there. And now if I flip over this way, you can have a single color on there. If I flip over, you can see it slowly transitioning over to different colors there. Generally looks good. Color intensity seems very strong on there. And then below that, we've got brightness level. Again, eye shields on, try amending it, nothing changes. Turn it off, takes it up, makes it even brighter. But let's get it back to default setting. Back from here. Now clicking over here, you can see the palette that's available. You can click between the different colors quite easily. And there's also a fill icon there and clicking on that, you can pick your own custom color with this. So you've got the hue saturation values there. Back from there now, if we swipe across, we've got the official lab and this gives you some ideas of different configurations. If I scroll down, and it's got different lighting effects on there. Now, as well as having their suggested ones, you can create your own effects here as well. And if you wanted to just see your ones, you can drop this down, look in my library, or, and to create one, you just click create, select static effect. Then we need to design the configuration we want. So if I replicate the one I have on the table, so if I turn this around, hold on the plus to add in a panel, spin it around so it's in the same configuration. So the plus is over there in the corner. Add another panel in, spin this around as well. Now it's in the exact configuration I have. Then we need to define the connects on here. So there's a connection here and a connection there, and that's it. So we can now click finish connect, and then we can draw on the colors we want. So this is quite a unique feature here. Nanoleaf doesn't have this and neither does Govi. And the way this works, the little circles on each of the panels represents each of the LEDs on the panel. And if I bring the palette up, I can draw on some colors. I can change the pen size if I wanted a bigger pen, color it in go to a medium size one, go back to the small one. And then if I hit preview, and you can see a preview of the colors I've selected. It's a really cool functionality here and something that really sets it aside from the competition. And then coming back from there, and that's it. That's all the options you have available and pretty easy to set up and use. I guess the only little bit of hassle is probably if you had five gigahertz Wi-Fi. but then once you've added it on, you can just enable it again. Now the color light mix can work in conjunction with a stream deck to allow you to control it. Now to get this functionality working, it's really easy. So coming over to my PC, if I click the icon here in the stream deck software, and then we search for Colo Light. Here's the plugin, just get it installed. And what that will do, that will add an additional option in the Stream Deck software. You can see below Colo Light, you can see all the options available for it. And then what you do, you can just add in the functionality you require on there. First time you add it in, it'll ask you for your credentials for your cloud account. And then that'll allow you to control the different functionality on here. So you're able to turn it on and off, set custom colors, set the brightness levels, dynamic effects, concentration, music mode, and random mode on there as well. And as a brief example, if I click on the power button, you can see the device is there. So if I had multiple devices, it will allow me to select the relevant one I wanted to control. And the same applies for colors as well. Just select your device and then set your color. So really useful functionality and very easy to set up and showing it in action. If I press the power button, turns it on, showing some static colors. 
really impressed with this. It's great they've actually put this functionality in there. It gives you an easy way to control this without having to open up the app. The Color Light Mix can also work in conjunction with both the Google and Amazon voice control devices, which I've got set up over here. And to get this set up, it's really easy. So coming over to my Android phone, if I go to the Home app first for Google, click on the plus, set up device, works with Google, and the service you need to add in is LifeSmart Smart Home. Add this in, you'll be asked for your credentials for their cloud service. And once you enter that in, it will link up with that service. So coming back from here, scrolling down, you can see it just here, mix lights. So there's a shortcut to turn it on and off. So turning it on from here, going in there, got an option to quickly change the brightness levels, turn it off from here as well, take it back down again, and then you can select different static colors. And obviously as well as that, you've got the ability to control it via the Google side of things. So if I say change color on mix lights to blue, all right, changing the mix lights to blue. Change brightness on mix lights to 15%. Sure, setting the mix lights brightness to 15%. There you go, simple as that to control. You've got the same functionality available on the Amazon side of things. So set that up. If I go into the Amazon app, click on more, skills and games, and we search for Life Smart Smart Home. That's the skill. Again, add it in, enter your cloud credentials for this, and then go into devices, lights, and scrolling down, you can see it here, mix lights. And again, there's a shortcut to turn it off and on. Going in there, same functionality again. So you can change brightness levels, select one of the static colors. And in the same way, you've got voice control as well. So if I say, change mix lights color to green. Okay. There you go. Excellent functionality there. Simple to set up. So you've got on and off control, brightness control, and color selection as well. So simple to set up and great to see that functionality in action. Let's do a comparison of Polar Light's mix together with Govi's light panels and Nanoleaf's light panels. Now, first thing to mention, obviously all of the devices can be placed on a flat surface. I'd say the Polar Light mix is more flexible out of all of them because it can be attached to a metal surface like a fridge or it can stand up on your desk. Whereas with the light panels, you can only put them on a flat surface down on the table or attach them on a wall. Controls wise, I'd say Nanoleaf comes in best with that. They've got their little control panel where you can flip between different options. Whereas I'd say Color Light Mix is limited to a single button which runs through the different scenes from just a single click and the different modes by double clicking the button. Gove is more restricted as it doesn't have any sort of control panel to manually change it. You're reliant on the app. Now I've got all the devices set up here and I've set the color to white on all of them. Design wise, I'd say the color light mix is the most restricted as the light doesn't cover the whole area. Obviously that's just by design. Second to that, I'd say the Govi light panels, obviously they're restricted a little bit at the side. The most light I'd say is given out by the Nanoleaf shapes because the lighting comes in right on the edges on this. And then finally the Nanoleaf Aurora panels. Options wise, the Color Light Mix, there's only one type of panel. There's no different designs to this. Similar to the Govi panels, they only come in the hexagon shape. Aurora is the same as well, only triangles. Most flexible one is the Nanoleaf shapes as you can also attach the smaller and larger triangles to it as well. Now, as you can see, all the devices are on. I've set all the colors to white and I hope the camera is giving the justice it deserves. I'm not seeing any sort of flickering in front of my eyes. You may notice that on the camera, but brightness level wise, it all seems pretty good. I'd say Govi's cool white and Color Light mix is probably similar in brightness levels but coverage obviously is better with the nano leaf side of things as the panels are larger on this. Now flick the color over to red. You can see the Govi product is probably the brightest one here. Then the color light mix is probably a similar level to what the nano leaf is. I flick the colors over now to blue and I'd say the contrast and brightness levels on the Govi product is probably brighter followed by nano leaf's products. And then finally the color light mix is slightly lower in contrast level I'd say. And finally, flipping over to green. Colors are very similar. I'd say Govi was slightly brighter. Saturation levels were greater on Color Light Mix, but generally all the color levels here, were very similar. And you could say with all the different colors, the Color Light Mix does compete pretty well in terms of representation and saturation levels coming off it.
Now moving on to the different lighting effects on the panels, I'm using the dynamic lighting effect on the Kolo light as this shows its best lighting effect as it has 37 light beads in the display. The Kolo light does give more of a unique color display than Govi Hexa and the Nanoleaf panel as the color is transitioning between the beads inside the display, unlike the other products. Comparing the color quality when the lights are all set to white, best representations I'd say are coming from Nanoleaf's panels on this, getting more light coming from them and better coverage of the product. Obviously the Color Light Mix is the smallest one here, but even with that, it's competing pretty well with the rest of them. But I say it gives a, a cooler white coming off that you're getting similar sort of color coming off Govi's product. Setup of all these products is not too bad. I'd say the easiest one to set up is probably Govi's as that purely uses Bluetooth to initially get that added in and adding onto Wi-Fi. I generally haven't had issues with that. But with Colo Light and Nano Leaf, I've always run into problems where I've had to initially disable five gigahertz Wi-Fi and then re-enable it after the devices are added in. For me personally, I like better coverage of light on these products. Obviously it's difficult comparing all these, all different purposes, especially the Cola Light Mix. It's very different from these, but I thought it's a good idea just to give you a comparison of the different lighting levels from these. So in summary, Cololite's made quite a unique product with their Cololite mix. Nothing like that out there. They've gone completely different with this. I like the idea it's not just limited to sticking on a wall, attach it to any sort of metal surface and it will stick to that. You could even place it on your desk if you wanted additional RGB on there. It's quite a cool concept. Lots of flexibility with the app on this as well. I like the fact it works with Stream Deck and you've also got the smart functionality where it can work with the Google and Amazon voice control devices. Negatives wise, personally, I would have thought it'd be nice to get more RGB coverage on the panel. Obviously, this is just limited to a round area. And price wise, it's not the cheapest option as three panels alone with their starter kit comes in at about $100. But other than that, pretty cool product if you wanna add a bit more RGB in your setup. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are on the description below, including purchasing links. If you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.